In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a table. So we're working backwards a little bit since we already just learned how to query a table. We're going to go backwards and learn how to create a table. Rather than put you through the drudgery of watching me type in all of this setup code, I've went ahead and included what we'd written before for the simple query program, changed the name of this program to create table, and all we'd be left to do is add the statements that provide the SQL for creating a new table. So the first thing we do is we execute a statement that will drop the table if the table we're about to create already exists. So we're about to create a table named books. And so if this table already exists, we're going to drop it, which means delete it or remove it from the database. So you do that first before you actually try to create a table. Now the next step is to write the SQL to create the table. So let's get started on that. So the way we do that is we use a command called create table. And we're going to build this in pieces. So the first piece says to create a table named books, followed by an open parenthesis. Then we begin to list the fields. So our first field is going to be the ISBN number. It's going to be a character field of 10 characters in length, followed by the title of the book, also a character field of 50 characters, followed by the author, another field of 50 characters, and then finally the publisher, also a field of 50 characters. So that closes the SQL statement, and then that closes the execute update method, and then a semicolon. And that's all we have to do. That will be executed immediately. If there's a problem, then we'll go into our catch. And let's change that from the generic error to error creating table, a little more specific to the task we have at hand. And that should be all we have to do. So let's save the file. Let's clear the screen. Compile it. One little error. Let's go back and take a look at that. Let's add this into our code. Statement, statement equals connection, create statement. Save it. Come back. Compile again. Works great. Execute the program. And our table is created. So going back and looking at the code very quickly, we drop the table if the table doesn't exist. Then we create the table by naming the new table, followed by a list of the fields which would be the field name and its data type and the length. The length is always in parentheses after the data type. And that's all you have to do to create a new table in a database. So with that, let's move to the next lesson where we're going to see how to insert data into this table.